Hello, my friends. My name is Vlad, and today in the AdType lesson series, I'll be telling you some common developers' mistakes that has to do with ads. To start off, we have tiny formats like banners, and those are really hard to see because, like in this app in the chest, they're located in the left bottom corner as a really small sized app, and then nobody really sees it, or if they press it, it's going to be by mistake. Then we got missed tabs. If there's an option of closing an ad, but the person, instead of closing, she presses an actual ad and it takes him to the app. Then there's an anger emotion. An anger emotion is the last thing you want from your user because that keeps your attention level low because angry users are bad users. To move on, this is the slide about the right moment when you need to show your ad. It can be before the session, during the session, after or in between. Now, that depends on the, on the type of app that you have. If you have a gaming app where you have a level system, you have to beat the bosses, you have to earn some money, that has to be between the sessions or after the sessions. For example, if somebody beats the level, you show him the ad, and then he moves on. Or after the whole session is done, then there's an ad. If you have a book app, then the ads can be shown throughout the book, which is during the session. And before is actually for the big apps, that have a lot of users and that don't want to pay money at all. So what do you do? Right when they open the app, you show them the ad. On the next slide, I'll sum up the, all the moments for you in order not to mess up on your ads. You got mood, variety, frequency, and time. So what do you mean by each of those? Time. You got to make sure, as I said in the previous slide, to insert the ad in your app right when the user needs to see it. Not when you want to see it, but when the user will feel comfortable with seeing it. Frequency, how often do you show your ad? Because if you show your ad before, during, and after the session, then the user will not want to use your app because there's too many ads and it just feels wrong. And then variety, you got to make sure you have different types of ads because imagine if you see the same banner or the same video even all over again, again and again, then it's going to get boring. You will skip it. You will not even look at it. Then where your money goes? Your money goes to nowhere. And then the mood of the app, for example, on this screen we see Snickers ad and it goes well with the app because it motivates the user to continue playing the game, charge up, eat and continue going. That is a good example. Now, if you have something really dark that demotivates the player from actually pressing on the ad, it doesn't do too good for you. Therefore, you should make sure that your mood of the ad is really positive and stays on top of the game at all times. This lesson has been about how to avoid common developers' mistakes. It's been Vlad. Thank you for tuning in with us to add top lessons and see you next time.